welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So as you can tell by the title, this is my Harry Potter collection video. I've wanted to do this for such a long time. Now, I do have a lot of stuff, I'm not even gonna lie, so I'm gonna do this video in sections. Books, wands, special collectible items, wearables, stationery, and miscellaneous. Also, if you are brand new to my channel, then welcome, get comfortable, why not join my internet family by clicking the subscribe button. Right, let's get on with the collection. Also, a quick note, this is a collection video, I won't be talking about things in depth, but let's go. Where everyone's Harry Potter dreams began, I have got the original Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix, the biggest one of them all, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and I know it doesn't match the rest of the covers, it annoys me as well, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. And apparently the original first seven Harry Potter books weren't enough, I also have the brand new covers because the artwork is beautiful. So beautiful. The Philosopher's Stone, the Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, the Goblet of Fire, the Order of the Phoenix, the Half-Blood Prince, and last but not least, the Deathly Hallows in its very beautiful cover. Now, the next books are very, very special, and you're all gonna think I'm crazy for spending this much money on the book, but I don't care. This is the Deluxe Illustrated Philosopher's Stone, and oh my god, I cannot describe how beautiful it is. These are illustrated by Jim Kay, and holy moly, they are just the best thing in the world. Obviously, I couldn't just get the Philosopher's Stone. I also got Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, the deluxe illustrated edition, and it's, it's so beautiful. Words cannot describe. Next is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, which is so good, and I'm very excited to see the play. I also have five of the Harry Potter vault books. These are so heavy. So we've got Harry Potter, the character vault, which talks about all the characters in depth. Harry Potter, the creature vault, Look at that giant right there, isn't he beautiful? He's beautiful. Harry Potter, the Artifact Vault, which is one of my new favorites. I love this one. I love reading about all of the things and how they were designed, very cool. Harry Potter and the Magical Places from the films. This talks about all the set design and how they made the Wizarding World become a reality. And I saved my favorite till last, which is Harry Potter Film Wizardry. Seriously, if you're gonna get one of these five vault books, Get this one, it's so good, and you have so many things inside it, like free things. So we've got a mini Marauders map in there, we've got the acceptance letter, a your ball program. There's just so much stuff, it's, it makes me very happy. It's a beautiful book. Okay, so next, let's go for my wand collection. Hello and welcome to Ollivander's. Okay, so first off I have Harry Potter's wand, which is actually the first one that I ever got. Hermione's wand, which is so pretty. I love hers. Hers is probably one of my favourites. Ron Weasley's wand. Luna Lovegood's wand, which is one of my favourites. Professor Dumbledore's wand, aka the Elder Wand, which is so nice and it's probably the longest wand that I own. Professor Snape's wand. I'm still so sad about that. My interactive wand, which I got from the Wisting World, Universal Florida, and yes, it chose me. It chose me. And my last wand, I'm not even sure if you can buy this in the shops yet, so I feel quite cool. This is Newt Scamander's wand from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. It's actually a really nice wand, it's like hollow, it's got metal inside. I like it a lot. Um, how did I get this? You will never know. I got my magical ways. I am a wizard. And as if by magic, my hairstyle has changed. I'm either really good at magic, or I forgot to turn the microphone back on the first time I filmed this, so I'm doing it again. I'll let you decide. Let's continue. First thing is this. Now, this is actually one of the first special collectible items that I ever purchased, and I fell in love with it the first time I saw it. This is a box of all of the Hogwarts houses badges. So we've got Hufflepuff, Slytherin, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, and the main Hogwarts crest. Next up, I have my Gringotts Bank coin collection. So we have a galleon, a sickle, and a nut, and they're actually made out of metal and are fantastic quality. Moving on to the jewelry special collectible items, I have Hermione's Time Turner. The golden egg on a necklace, which is from the Goblet of Fire. And the Slytherin Locket, which also opens and it's very, very pretty. Next up is this, and this is the Harry Potter collectible Quidditch set with poster. So the poster is actually underneath this base. So we've got the quaffle, some bludgers, and a golden snitch here, but it's just so cool because it's, it's just a tiny scaled down version of the actual thing. And you can take these out and hold them and stuff, which I 
think it's pretty cool. Next up, I have this little teacup and saucer, which is from Professor Dolores Umbridge. I can't stand that woman, but I can't resist a really cute kitten, so yeah. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, in my special collectible items, I've got this. This is the Gryffindor Hogwarts House crest plaque, which you can put onto your wall, and yeah, it's so majestic, and I, I love it. I love this a lot. It's one of my favorite items that I have. Next up, I'm going to be showing you stationery. First up is this pack of postcards and this is the Hogwarts series and these are designed by Mina Lima and they have many designs in here and yeah. I then have a Gryffindor notebook with the crest on the front. I then have the Harry Potter Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry replica exercise book, so this is just a notepad. I then have three notepads and these are from Etsy. There's the Book of Advanced Spells, the Book of Potions and the Book of Magical Thinking. I have another notepad and this is designed to look like a replica of the Quibbler, so when you open it out it looks like the magazine and this is also from Etsy. Next up is this and I got this from the 9 and 3 quarter shop and it's the Ministry of Magic Interdepartmental Memos, so you can write a note and then it has instructions up here to show you how to make the little origami aeroplanes. And this is what the little paper aeroplanes look like, so I guess I can go and send some confidential information to the Ministry of Magic. And last in stationery, which I guess could have also gone in the book section, is the Harry Potter colouring book. So it's got loads of pictures in the back to give you inspiration on what to colour, and then it's got all the things that you can colour in in the front. Next I'm going to be showing you my miscellaneous Harry Potter things, and there is quite a few. I've got a Hogwarts Express train ticket. I have some Harry Potter DVDs. I've got Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and the Goblet of Fire. And I know I don't own all of the physical copies because I bought some of them digitally online, but I do want to get the others. Next up, I've got some books which have escaped the book section. I've got The Tales of Beedle the Bard, Quidditch Through the Ages, and also Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Next up is a mug, and it says, if you don't get my Harry Potter references, then there is something seriously wrong with you. I love a good Harry Potter pun. I also have a Pottermore mug, a Gryffindor Quidditch drinking bottle, a Butterbeer drinking goblet from the Harry Potter Studio Tours in London. I've also got the Butterbeer ice cream dish. I then have two chocolate frogs, and I do still have the chocolate frogs inside because I don't want to eat them. But yeah, it's almost like a rite of passage if you're a Harry Potter fan to have one of these. If you're wondering what cards are inside, I got Rowena Ravenclaw and Salazar Slytherin. I then have some chocolate fizzing Wisbees. I then have my beloved Gryffindor flag banner, which lives on the front of my door. Next up, I have my Harry Potter jigsaw puzzle, and it has 1,000 pieces, and no, I haven't had time to do it yet. Next, I have a box frame from Etsy, and on the front of it, it has the Deathly Hallows logo, and then behind that, it has the Tale of the Three Brothers. I have this really amazing 3D card, which is of Hogwarts, and it has little wizards playing Quidditch, and it's just so beautiful. I have the official guide to the making of Harry Potter, which I got from the London Studio Tour. I then have a clapperboard, which is also from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in London. I know it's not specifically Harry Potter branded, but it's from the tour, so it's Harry Potter. I have got two photographs from the tour in London, and the first one is me flying over Hogwarts looking really damn cool in my Gryffindor robes. And the second one is me knocking on number four Privet Drive. I now have loads of teeny weeny little bits of miscellaneous, so I'm gonna whiz by them. I have a Gryffindor girl head badge, a Gryffindor prefect badge, a Ministry of Magic badge, a kitten badge, which belongs to Dolores Umbridge, a little watch on a necklace, and on the front it has the Hogwarts crest. One of you guys actually gave this to me. I have a little tiny Harry Potter pop Funko figure. I have a Gryffindor crest patch, which is to iron onto your clothes. I then have two badges from the studio tour in London, and these were to celebrate the 15th anniversary of the Philosopher's Stone. And finally in miscellaneous, I have got some keyrings, which live on my house keys. I have a little pink pygmy puff, which I adopted, and I also have a Gryffindor keyring, and the lion in the middle spins. Finally, I'm going to be moving on to my clothing and wearables. I have to start with what I'm wearing, which is my Ollivanders t-shirt. I would love to work for Mr. Ollivanders, that would be like a dream come true. I then have my Gryffindor headband, which is really, really cute. The next thing I wish that I could wear all of the time, 24-7, these are my Gryffindor wizarding robes. 
I was so happy when I bought this in the Wizarding World in Universal to the point I wore it all day. And on this side, there is actually a little pocket where you can put your wand, which I just think is the cutest thing ever. I absolutely love its little hood. Look at me go. I'm a little witch that goes to Hogwarts. Next up in clothing, I have got my Weasley's Wizards Wheezies t-shirt. I have a Gryffindor Quidditch jumper. A Gryffindor t-shirt from Primark. A Hogwarts t-shirt, which is also from Primark. A Gryffindor t-shirt, which you can probably guess where it's from by now. A cozy Gryffindor hoodie. I have some Hogwarts pyjama bottoms. And down the other leg, it says Harry Potter. Then have this, which is one of my favorite tops. It says, I don't know if you can see it, it says after all this time, and then a piece of material in front says always. I have a Deathly Hallows t-shirt, which yep, yeah, still from Primark. They always have amazing Harry Potter stuff there. And the last t-shirt that I have is this, and this says Expecto Patronum, and it has a stag on it. This is from Etsy. I then have three Gryffindor scarves. I don't need this many scarves, but they're all different and some of them were gifted to me. So I have got a Gryffindor one, which just says Gryffindor down the entire scarf, and that one's cute. I also have one which has the Gryffindor logo on it, and then it says Gryffindor, down the rest of it and then I have a plain Gryffindor colored scarf which I think this one is my favorite I like it a lot I'm set for winter and I then have the entire collection of the Hogwarts houses ties so we have got Ravenclaw we've got Slytherin Hufflepuff and of course we have Gryffindor Next is one of my favourite things, and this is a Marauder's Map Cushion, which I think came from Etsy. The last thing in wearables, which I think classes as a wearable, is this. This is a tote bag, which came with the deluxe version of the Chamber of Secrets, and yeah, it just says Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, and it has one of Jim Kay's illustrations on the front, which is of a phoenix. And that's it! That is my entire Harry Potter collection video. 10 points to your Hogwarts house if you made it this far. Leave a comment down below of what Hogwarts house you belong to because I would love to know. And you can also comment what was your favorite thing out of my entire Harry Potter collection video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a magical thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye. Do 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 do